The specialty coffee industry is well aware of the devastating impact Roya, the coffee leaf rust disease, has had in coffee growing regions. In the past 18 months, the damage has been unprecedented. Coffee harvests in Mexico, Central America, and parts of South America have fallen between 15 and 40 percent for the current harvest season. Unfortunately, there is no one solution to Roya. The most common approach to fight this parasitic fungus is with chemical fungicide. But deciding which mixture is most effective raises many questions, and identifying solutions that won't threaten organic certification is even more difficult. Roya was first seen in the mid-19th century, and some coffee-producing countries, including Colombia and Brazil, came up with effective ways to fight it. La historia de la roya en Colombia es desde los años 70. En 1970, cuando la roya llega a Brasil, todavía no estaba aquí. En esa época eran experiencias muy desastrosas en los países donde ella había aparecido. La roya llegó a Colombia en el año 83 y ya nosotros habíamos liberado la primera variedad resistente. The Castillo variety has effectively resisted Roya in the mountains of Colombia, but it is not yet proven suitable for planting in other Latin American coffee lands, although tests are underway to find varieties that will work. Farmers and specialty roasters are hesitant to switch from heirloom to Roya resistant varietals until there's more information about the impact on cup quality. As for treating Roya, with organic coffee producers unable to use chemical fungicides, there's an urgency and high interest in other organic solutions. Yo llamé a mi hermano y le digo, hermano, le digo, yo tenés problemas con Roya. Y aquí ese problema, yo me preocupé porque se iba a pasar para acá. Entonces le digo, hay que fumigar. Entonces, pero yo tengo un obstáculo por delante que no puedo usar ningún producto químico. Yo no puedo hacer eso, entonces yo voy a tener que buscar una forma de, de controlar la roya. Empecé a, a probar con varios productos diferentes. También en un barril de 50 galones hice un producto con frutas. Eh, penca de mozote, una planta que es pegajosa, que despide una liga. Entonces... Vi que el producto, después de haberlo aplicado a los dos días, de haber aplicado el producto, empezaba a ver que empezaban a salir hojas nuevas, brotes nuevos de la finca. Y el resultado es que al final la finca, esta finca se salvó de la roya y todas las demás fincas tuvieron problemas serios que botaron la hoja. No se puede madurar el café, todavía lo tienen las fincas. El café no se puede madurar. The compromised quality and drastically diminished volumes in Latin America will impact the entire specialty coffee industry this year and for years to come. In response, the industry has come together in recent months at several meetings, including the sustainable harvest-led Let's Talk Roya event in El Salvador last November. Everyone's also aware that it's more than just an agricultural disease to be dealt with. It's a crisis affecting the lives of coffee growers, their families, and scores of others in rural communities. Many of these people have been going hungry, and the Roya crisis only worsens an already precarious food security situation. Our industry response to the Roya crisis can provide valuable insights about how we might deal with a wide range of diseases and other challenges resulting from climate change well into the future. Working together to find solutions also helps empower farmers to make good long-term decisions, which should work to the benefit of everyone committed to specialty coffee.